Safety sensors prevent the garage door from closing on a person or object. One sensor sends an infrared beam while the other sensor receives it. If an object breaks the beam, the closing garage door reverses direction. When a safety sensor fails, the remote won't work and the lights on the motor unit blink when you press the remote. Replace the sensors using the steps in this video. Wear work gloves to protect your hands. Now let's get started. Unplug the garage door opener or turn off the house circuit breaker for the garage door opener. Remove the wing nut from the safety sensor. Pull the sensor from the bracket. Cut the wires about an inch from the safety sensor, leaving enough slack in the control wire to connect the new sensor. Separate the control wires on the new sensor. Connect the black striped control wire to the black striped safety sensor wire using the crimp wire nut. Connect the solid white wires in the same way. Slide the safety sensor onto its bracket and secure it with the wing nut. Repeat this process for the other safety sensor. Plug in the garage door opener, or turn on the house circuit breaker. Align the safety sensors so that the green indicator light on the receiving sensor glows steadily. Place a box or similar object between the sensors to block the sensing beam. Attempt to close the garage door using the remote. The door should stay open and the motor unit lights should blink. If the garage door opener closes the door with the safety sensors blocked, replace the logic board. Here's a link to our logic board replacement video.